Thank you for joining us for College Commons Week as we explore the next steps in the college admissions process. My name is Janine Kutu and I'm with the College Foundation of West Virginia. We are extremely excited to host our second annual College Commons Week event, an opportunity that allows us to work together with college campuses to help students navigate the college going process. This evening, we are pleased to announce that representative, a representative from Bridge Valley Community and Technical College has joined us this evening. Joining us from Bridge Valley Community and Technical College is Hannah Water, an admissions counselor. Thank you for joining CFWV for this new statewide initiative. Through this initiative, we aim to help West Virginia students and families prepare for and transition to college. As I get ready to turn the presentation over to our presenter, I ask that you use the chat box to ask any questions you may have throughout our time together this evening. Staff will address those questions and ensure that they are answered before we conclude today's webinar. This webinar is being recorded and will be made available on CFWB.com later this week. With that said, Hannah, welcome. And now I turn this webinar over to you. Well, thank you so much. And thank you everyone for having me. Um, my name is Hannah Waters. I'm an admissions counselor at Bridge Valley Community and Technical College. I am sharing my screen, so I'm hoping everyone can see it. Um, we're very excited to be a part of College Commons Week. So I'm gonna to talk to you all a little bit about why it's beneficial to consider a two year um, community and technical college when you're starting out your college career after high school. Okay, so we are the Pathfinders at Bridge Valley. Um, we work to help you find your path and we do that in a variety of ways. So I'll go over the Bridge Valley basics first. Um, we have two campuses. One of them is located in Montgomery, West Virginia, and the other main campus is located in South Charleston, West Virginia. Um, we are accredited by the North Central Association of the Higher Learning Commission. Um, so we are accredited throughout the state, the same accreditation that all the other colleges have. Um, and that question comes up a lot, especially if you're considering transferring over, um, then that's a definitely an important thing to know. So we offer over 35 degree and certificate programs in high demand careers. And what that means is that we offer two year associate degrees. That's the highest degree that you can earn in Bridge Valley. And then we also offer certifications and those certifications can range from anywhere to, from six weeks to a year, depending on what you're doing. So we, one of the best things and one of the most exciting things that I appreciate about Bridge Valley, it's not one of the only good things, but we work on a Monday through Thursday schedule, which is very convenient for our students that work while they're in their programs, because a lot of our students have hands-on experience in the programs that they choose. And a lot of our students have families and they, they like to work, they have to work to pay the bills. So that's a very convenient thing. You will never have classes on a Friday. You will only have classes Monday through Thursday. And we have small classroom sizes. And this is especially important if you're wanting to try to integrate into Bridge Valley and into the college life slowly. Um, our largest class size on average is 10 students. The largest class we offer is 30. Um, now at a four-year institution or a larger institution, you could be looking at a class, say, of 300 students, depending on what the class is. So we definitely offer that one-on-one -on -one training and that hands-on experience with your instructor where you can build a relationship and get to know one another. And that's extremely helpful. Um, it also offers a variety of diversity in your college experience. So oftentimes students will take um, their two years worth of classes with us and then they'll transfer those over to a larger school. Um, and an important thing about Bridge Valley that I wanna talk about is the cost of attendance. So um, we offer our tuition for an entire year at full-time hours, which is 12 credit hours or more um, at $4,502 per year for tuition. Now, some programs do have special fees depending on what you're doing and such as lab fees or web fees, program fees, software fees, but that is the base of the tuition. Just to go over some of the programs of Bridge Valley, um, we do offer several business and legal studies programs, such as accounting and bookkeeping, healthcare management, medical coding, um, entrepreneurship, which is a very exciting program. If you wanna start your own business and learn how to do that, Bridge Valley can give you the tools to do that. 
Um, we also offer some not so common programs, especially for business. Um, we offer diesel technology that is located on our Montgomery campus. And so you work with diesel engines and we offer welding technology as well. Both of those located on the Montgomery campus. And recently we just began our culinary arts program and our hospitality program, which are both located in Montgomery as well. Health studies, we do offer a large variety of health studies programs. Our most popular health studies programs are probably gonna be our RN nursing program and our dig dental hygiene program that is located in Montgomery, West Virginia. Um, but we do offer two different sonography programs, cardiac sonography and diagnostic medical sonography. We also offer medical lab technology. If you like to study blood samples and things like that, and you wanna learn how to do that. Um, part of COVID testing right now is very critical for medical lab technology. We have two programs that work directly with Carver Career Center. So that's our vet tech program and our um, respiratory therapy program. And what happens with those programs specifically is that you come to Bridge Valley to take your general education classes and then you do your hands-on work in your major at Carver. Now we do have some programs that are selective admission. And what that means is that you apply to Bridge Valley, but you also have to apply separately to these programs because they select a certain amount of students per year. And these are the programs that are listed. Um, our advanced manufacturing technology is also one of those programs. Now we do have two advanced manufacturing technology programs that are not selective admission, but if you would like to specifically earn an internship with Toyota, that does take an application process. Some of the other uh, programs that offer the selective admission process are dental hygiene, those respiratory therapy and vet tech programs at Carver, our nursing program for sure, and um, both of our sonographies. So you wanna make sure when you're preparing for these and you're preparing for college, especially now, that you work to get those applications in quickly and you make sure that you keep up with the deadlines of when those are due. Um, as far as applying just to Bridge Valley, you can apply almost up until the, the week before classes start. Um, and we offer some late start classes as well. So please don't ever hesitate to uh, uh, sign up and enroll with Bridge Valley. But for these specific programs, because they require so much for their application, you wanna make sure that you stay on top of that. Technology and engineering is also a very large part of Bridge Valley. We offer, as I said before, advanced manufacturing, several engineering, several mechanical, electric, um, and those are all based in Montgomery currently. We have oh, excuse me, computer management information systems, um, several cybersecurity and networking process technology. So anything when it comes to IT work, if that's what you're interested in, I'm sure we can find something for you. Um, so I wanna talk a little bit about the documents required for full admission. Um, and what that means, full admission, it means that you are fully enrolled and admitted to the college and we don't need anything else from you document wise. And this is when financial aid can start to process your awards package. Um, so in order to be fully admitted, um, obviously you'll have to submit an application for admission. When you do that, you'll become provisional. Um, and provisional admittance means that you have been accepted to Bridge Valley, but you're not fully enrolled yet and financial aid isn't able to process your award yet. And so once you apply and you graduate high school, you'll wanna make sure that you send us your final high school transcript that includes a graduation date. Your high school counselor can do that, can email it over to us with that graduation date and that will fully admit you. Now, if you have taken a couple of college classes while you've been in high school, we will need a transcript from them as well. And that will make you what's called fully admitted and you will be set from there. You'll be able to register for your classes. So we all know about the FAFSA. Hopefully everyone by this point has filled it out. And if not, there's still time. Um, you'll want to make sure after you fill out that Bridge Valley application on our website, I will give that to you at the end of the presentation. It's always free to apply. Um, you'll want to fill out your FAFSA. So for the fall term, you will want to make sure that you fill out the 2021-2022 aid year application. If you decide that you want to take some summer classes, you will also need to fill out the 2020-2021 application. Um, so this is also required for the West Virginia Invest Grant, which I'm going to touch on a little bit. Um, you can find our school code here, and we also have a scholarship application, and the website for that is super easy. It's 
bridgevalley.awardspring.com where you can fill out a form to be considered for our applications for scholarships. So these are some of the deadlines for fall awards for the FAFSA. So you want to make sure that you turn your um, FAFSA in before June 30th for priority and for the spring semester you'll want to make sure you submit it before November 30th. Okay, so the West Virginia Invest Grant I am actually going to pull open, I'm going to switch over my screen share really quickly and share this website. So the West Virginia Invest Grant is a grant that community and technical colleges in the state of West Virginia offer. And if you qualify for it, then you will be covered for tuition and fees. Now, this doesn't mean that it will cover books or anything like that, but your base of tuition and fees is covered, which is great. So you can go to the West Virginia Invest website. It's literally www.westvirginiainvest.org, and you will find our college. You'll find Bridge Valley when you click find a college. You'll click on the college that you're interested in, and then you'll click find a program. And here's Bridge Valley right here. We're number two on the list. So when you click Bridge Valley, it will bring up every single program that qualifies for this grant, which is the majority of our programs with the exception of general education. Everything else qualifies. And they do have some requirements as far as how it works. And this is all on the website as well. Um, so in order to qualify, you will have to be a legal resident of West Virginia for at least a year. Um, you will have to not already have had a degree, which I would say that that's not the case for most of you watching this. Um, you will wanna make sure that you maintain a 2.0 GPA. You will have to complete your FAFSA. That's the most important part and the first step in applying for the grant. And um, you'll have to do a drug test every semester and complete community service. I believe it's two hours per semester for community service and Bridge Valley offers several on-campus opportunities for community service when you do that. You don't have to do it on our campus, but um, it's entirely possible if you would like to do that. Um, and the biggest thing is that you are committed to improving the state of West Virginia and living here for at least two years after the time that you complete your program. So say that you received a job offer in another state very quickly after graduation, which is entirely possible, and you decide to move, what happens is that grant then turns into a loan and you would need to pay that back. Okay, so in order to apply for this grant, it's very simple. Like I said before, make sure that that FAFSA application is completed first, and then you would go up here to the apply now button on the website. And I just want to show you all this form because it's very easy. So if you see this here, um, especially in comparison to the FAFSA application, it's a very simple application process. It will take you less than five minutes to submit. So I encourage everyone to apply for that. Um, you know, you may receive the Pell Grant or the Higher Education Grant, and they may cover everything, and you may not need the West Virginia Invest Grant. But if you, I mean, say that maybe you have $500 left over that needs to be covered, and you qualify for the West Virginia Invest Grant, it will come in and cover the rest of that. So it's definitely worth applying for. Okay, I'm going to hop back over to my presentation. Okay. All right, so transferring your Bridge Valley credits to a four year college. I received this question a lot. Some people want to start out at a community and technical college and then move over to say West Virginia State University or WVU or Marshall University or somewhere out of state. And that is entirely possible. You can definitely do that and save a lot of money. Um, so the cost of community college versus four-year schools. I like to touch on this a lot as someone who has a lot of student loan debt. Um, the average Bridge Valley tuition and fees per year is 5,360. That's tuition and fees. Um, Say that you decide to go to WB your freshman year. Um, you are required if you go to four-year schools most times to live in a um, dorm setting for your freshman year. And so to do that completely at a larger school for WVU as example, you're looking at spending almost 20 grand a year, 
that's a lot of money, especially because the average yearly income of a West Virginia resident is only a little more than $25,000. So it's definitely something to consider, even if you're just going to knock out that first year or that second year, some of the general education courses that are required at all schools. Um, you could do that and transfer those credits over, be in your sophomore or junior year when you get to college and save a lot of money that way. Bridge Valley does not have dorms. So they do not require room and board. A lot of our students will um, find friends and rent apartments locally, or we also give the, the um, option of being able to live at home and save some money and commute. Okay, so Bridge Valley does offer a lot of student services, and I want to touch on that a little bit. Aside from just the several organizations that we offer, such as SGA, um, Bridged by Faith, book clubs, we have a, a large variety of organizations. We also offer some help in the academic area. So we have a freshman advising center for new students and you will work with your freshman advisor when you first start the process. So um, once you're fully admitted and we have either a AccuPlacer test score, which we offer for free, or your SAT, ACT scores, your advisor will register you for your first semester and help you lay out your academic plan. We offer an online orientation now, so you don't have to come onto campus. It is required to complete that, but thankfully you don't have to be in one place specifically at one time. You can do it on your own time, which is much more convenient. And we do offer career and um, career aptitude and preparation services, um, specifically tests. If you're not sure of what you want to do, but you want to come to Bridge Valley and get a start of doing something, we have some tests that will help you out with that. Several of our Bridge Valley programs offer internships. We have learn and earn programs and on-site clinical training. And that's one of the differences between a four-year school versus a community and technical college is that we offer several programs that provide on-the-site training and a job while you're earning your degree and also hands-on learning because everyone learns differently. We have accessibility services um, and they provide an array of services for students of varying needs, whether that be needing a tutor or needing some notes taken or maybe you need a little bit more time testing, we offer all of those things. Um, and we also offer, our Student Success Center offers walk-in tutoring, we walk-in assistance for some subject areas. So we wanna make sure that you definitely succeed at Bridge Valley and we have the tools to do that for you, all free of cost. Um, additionally, I didn't put it on this slide, but we offer counseling services as well. So if you find that you're getting overwhelmed or stressed with the college process, we have a counselor who is wonderful and she can take some time to meet with you and talk to you and see how things are going. Okay. So for the fall 2021 semester, I have been asked this a lot. What is, what are classes going to look like? Um, because we are in the middle of a pandemic in the middle of dealing with COVID-19. Um, currently, we are planning on doing two thirds of our classes online and a third of our classes in person. Because just as I had said before, some of our classes, specifically the health related fields or welding and diesel require hands-on learning and experience and training. And so a third of those classes will still be in person, especially the labs. And the two other online options are, are two different setups. One of them is called what's mixed. Um, the lecture will be delivered in a virtual format. So that means that you still sign on to your Zoom meeting or your Microsoft Teams meeting, whichever format your instructor uses at a specific time on specific days and you listen to a lecture like virtually over your computer or your phone. Um, and we also have what's referred to just as fully online. Um, and what that means is that you don't have to sign on by a specific time and listen to a specific lecture. You really set the pace for yourself. Now, there will be assignments due weekly, but as far as when the studying happens, um, when you're taking in that information, when you're doing those tests, those are all determined by you within the week. So you really have to make sure that you set those deadlines for yourself. Um, just a few reminders. I think this is kind of some important stuff um, as far as Bridge Valley goes. So like I said about that application to Bridge Valley, you can see that application anytime at www.bridgevalley.edu and there's a large green button at the top of the screen that reads apply now. You'll click that and go down and fill out our application for admission. Um, you will want to make sure that you submit an application that has an email address that you use regularly 
we are sending out most of our acceptance letters via text and via email mail, excuse me, email now because of COVID. So um, the mail system is not as reliable and everyone has email. So make sure that you put an email on there that you use and check it frequently. Um, and we do offer a virtual tour. So um, we have just opened back up to the public by appointment. If you would like to come in and have a tour of the facility, I would be happy to do that or a couple of my other cohorts and admissions. Um, but you can also view it virtually and that can be found at westvirginiacollegeroadtrip.com. You can also book your appointment or your tour on our website. And I wanna show that really quickly because you might feel like just booking something and not having to call or email, and we want this to be as convenient for you as possible. So I'm gonna switch over to that again. So when you go to our website, you will see a um, button here that says admissions. You'll wanna click that. And then you'll click this button here that screams schedule a visit. There's also another one right here that says visit and another one right here. And that will pull up in our bookings page. There's also one available for financial aid should you have some questions for the FAFSA application, which is pretty complex. And to find the financial aid one, you can click this tab here, scroll down to financial aid. And you'll click right here for book an appointment. And those appointments can be done over the computer, your cell phone, um, through a virtual format. We use Teams a lot. Um, or you can schedule an appointment to come in person. You have the option of either one, whichever one you feel most safe doing. Okay, I've just got one more slide left, I believe. Just hopping around all over the place. Okay. So um, your high school transcripts. We oftentimes receive transcripts through a site called parchment.com and most high schools in the state of West Virginia are using that now. So when you finish up your um, high school classes, you've graduated, you can visit www.parchment.com and have those sent to us to our admissions email, which I have on the next slide. Um, I know a lot of times for the first year that high schools will make that transcript free for you to send. So definitely take advantage of that or contact your admissions counselor and have them email it over to us. Um, make sure you apply for that West Virginia Invest Grant. It's definitely worth it. You can visit the website at www.westvirginiainvests with an S at the end, .org, and apply for that FAFSA. The sooner you do that, the better. That way you know what you're awarded with. Okay, and as far as contact information goes, um, I have some general information here. Admissions can always be reached at our email, which is admissions at bridgevalley.edu. And we also have our website, www.bridgevalley.edu, that has contact information for us. Financial aid can be specifically emailed at finaid at bridgevalley.edu. And I have listed both of the numbers there for our enrollment services um, department on both campuses for Montgomery and South Charleston. Additionally, um, feel free to please always reach out to me if you have any questions. My phone number is listed here, and then I can be contacted via email at hannah.waters at bridgevalley.edu. And now I will just leave this open for questions. I'll pull the chat up. So Hannah, I do see a few questions in the chat. Um, one is what does campus life look like at Bridge Valley? Are there regularly scheduled events and activities held on campus for students to participate in? Yeah, so that's a great question. Um, we have campus life is actually pretty um, busy. We have a student services coordinator named Sarah Price. She's wonderful and she's always planning events. Um, for example, we recently just had last week a even a virtual painting class where several people were able to sign up and they were provided materials for free to just paint together. Um, and those types of events happen regularly. We're always doing holiday-based events. We're doing costume contests. We're doing uh, movie nights. I mean, it's, it's a variety of things and you can definitely find something to get involved in. Um, I'm looking at a couple of the other questions. Bridge Valley does have an on-campus bookstore. It is located in Montgomery. What you can do if you're based in South Charleston or closer to South Charleston is use our um, bookstore website to order your textbooks. And then we have specific days that you can pick those textbooks up in South Charleston. That way you don't have to make the commute to Montgomery if you're not near there. Um, 
And then as far as dining options, um, in South Charleston specifically, we usually have a restaurant in our B2000 building, which is our main building. Um, we also offer vending machines and things like that. A lot of students will be used to go get food. And in Montgomery, we have, um, similarly, we do have a small store and a bookstore that offer food and snacks. And then there are a variety of restaurants locally within walking distance of the campus. We don't require, because we don't have a, um, I'm blanking out, we don't have a cafeteria, so we don't require that you pay for any type of dining package or anything like that. All right, I'm not seeing any more questions in the chat. Um, you, I'm pretty sure you've touched on this already, but are there any deposits or fees that you need to pay before arriving on campus? Um, no, there are no deposits or fees. Now, as far as your tuition goes, you will receive your, your billing statement once you register for classes on your account that's called your MyBridge account. Um, if you have FAFSA and financial aid, you'll work that out with your financial aid counselors. Or if you decide that you want to pay out of pocket, we do offer a variety of payment plans as well. And you will be notified when those are due through your student account. Um, I'm looking at the chat now and Bridge Valley does participate in the federal work study program. So when you fill out that FAFSA application, make sure that you check the box on your FAFSA application that you're interested in work study programs. We have several positions available and we work to offer those to students as much as we can. All righty. I don't see any more classes or questions, but um, I do have a question about classes. Um, how does creating your schedule look like? And if a student is interested, how do they go about adding and dropping classes? Absolutely. Um, so typically, whenever you are fully admitted, like I was speaking about earlier, you've gotten all your transcripts into us, um, you are sent what's called a fully admitted letter in your email. And that lists who your advisor is and how you schedule an appointment with your advisor. You are absolutely able to schedule classes before you're fully admitted. The only thing that we would need are test scores. So whether that be ACT or SAT scores or the free AccuPlacer test that we provide, there's instructions for all of that in your letters that you receive from us, whether that be the provisional letter or the fully admitted. Um, adding and dropping classes, your freshman advisor will do that your first semester. And after that, you will be able to add and drop your classes. And as far as a class schedule, a lot of that is really up to you and your advisor. If you have certain days of the week that are more convenient for you, say that you're working a part-time job or you only want to drive and make that commute on Monday and Wednesday, it's entirely possible to do that. I recommend in that case, trying to register for classes as early as possible. That way you have the best availability for classes that they don't fill up. Um, but we try our best to cater to students and what they need. So if you're more of a morning person, you can schedule your classes for the morning. If you're more of an evening person, we do offer a few later classes that go until seven or eight at night. Um, so we try to be flexible with that and offer a variety of things because a lot of our students have very different needs. I think that's all the questions I see in the chat. I just want to take the time to thank you, um, Hannah. We yeah. really appreciate Bridge Valley Community and Technical College for joining us for college, the, for joining the College Foundation of West Virginia during College Commons Week. And for all of those in attendance, please feel free to reach out to Hannah with any questions you may have. And thank you for those who have participated in this webinar series. Um, if we can be of any further assistance, please reach out to us at cfwb.com. Thank you.